Hey guys, Jeff and I were just outside. Can you tell? <laughs> we just went to Sam's. We had to go pick up my medication. I had to pick it up every few months. And um, we also needed to get some things. We just went ahead and did our grocery shopping there for the week. But there's some things here that's going to last a lot longer than a week. Um, we just kind of stocked up on some things. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we got. Okay, so you guys know we've been buying bottled water, which is something we don't normally do, but we've been buying it because we've been going to the mobile home a lot. So we got one of those. We got some oven roasted turkey breast because that's what Noah likes. We can still have plenty of ham, so we didn't get any of that. In fact, we have a whole thing of ham, but um, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm telling you all that. We got some turkey. Okay, we got some mustard cheese, provolone cheese, some seriously sharp cheddar um hopefully i like it because i'm the one that chose it colby and monterey jack cheese and some more parmesan cheese so we got all of those got two gallons of milk some more of this ragu um sauce i know that i've been buying like organic most of the time and i did buy some of this the last time we went to sam's but what i've been trying i'll tell y'all about it after I get done with this. So anyway, I got some ragu sauce. I got some more Alfredo and then some Brazil nuts. Those are supposed to be really good if you have thyroid disorders. I think it's just hypothyroidism though, but I'm not sure. Um, got some sea salt caramels. Hadn't bought any of these in a little while. This is our favorite Worcestershire sauce. And um, so we got that, which this one says all natural, but it it's got natural flavorings, which I'm learning about that too. I'll tell y'all a little bit about that maybe too. Got a pork loin and um, some more hamburgers. Got this spinach and ricotta ravioli. I just take and use one side and um, make like a ravioli bake for us. It's really good. Got some more pepperoni pizzas. Jeff um, decided not to get the other kind they only had the giorno that was like the three meat or anything like that and he decided not to get it because it had thick crust is that one yeah because it had thick crust all right and then we got i totally skipped these got some bell peppers some lettuce we still have some cucumbers and strawberries and grapes because we had shopped well we shopped later this week too i don't know we still got some stuff anyways got some more of these um, wraps because uh, they're cheaper at Sam's than anywhere else, which we still have some, but not a lot. Got some of this Sara Lee Artisano bread and some hamburger buns. Okay, so I decided today since um, if you watched the mobile home videos, you saw all the scooting and the rowing and all the things I've been doing. Well, I've irritated one of my knees. I know that I have arthritis in both of my knees and I also know, well, they never could tell me from the MRI if it was tendonitis or tendinosis in my knee and never did get it fixed. And now I have flares at times in my right knee from where I injured it like 18 years ago. Well, I have caused a flare, so I decided that today, after we went to this, to Sam's, I was gonna just kind of take it easy today. So this is all I'm gonna be doing with y'all, but I decided it'd be a good time to have a talk with y'all about some of the stuff we've been doing and how we've been doing it. And I did tell y'all, this is not gonna become one of those channels where I'm always talking about organic foods and you should do this and you should do that because I'm not trying to tell you what you should do. You do what you want to for your family and what's best for your family. We are experimenting with ourselves. That's what we're doing. We have an 80-20 rule, which right now it's not being followed, but this is what we're gonna be. Well, it is, but it's not. I'll tell you why it is and it's not in just a second. But we're still trying to eat down some of the stuff that we had purchased previously before we had decided to do this. Some of it's just fine though. Now, we have decided to do like an 80-20 rule, like 80% of the time we'll try to eat um, the foods that, oh, we'll just put it this way, 
things that I know exactly what they are. Like, if it's pasta sauce, I know it's tomatoes, basil, oregano, olive oil, you know, that kind of thing. There's no scientific names or words on the label, if that makes sense. And y'all know that a lot of times we've been buying organic, which is better for you because there's no chance of chemicals being sprayed on the stuff. But even in organic things, there's still like chemical byproducts because you can't control which way the wind blows. You just can't. So there may still be chemicals on organic vegetables and fruits and all of that. So just, we just know that, you know, that's the way it is because one farmer might do it one way and another do it another, you know. So the reason why we're okay with buying some things that are not organic and some things that are organic is because like that pasta sauce I bought, I can read every single, which I can read the big scientific words, but I know where, it, you know, what it is. I can cook with that in my kitchen. Maybe that's just what I should have said. If I can cook with it in my kitchen and I don't have to have some kind of scientific degree to be able to buy it, <laughs> you know, then I'm usually okay with it. And it's just, we're trying to do this 80-20 thing. Now, recently, we have been like, we went to Chick-fil-A today. We did, because we got up late and we needed to go to the store before he went to work. And so we went to Chick-fil-A. We're not gonna say, well, we can't ever go out to eat. We're not gonna say we can never have a candy bar. We're not gonna say we're never gonna eat anything with dye in it. Because we still may. There may be times where we go to a family member's house and, you know, you're invited over for dinner and they serve you something that you wouldn't eat at home, but you still like that thing and you know it, so it's okay every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? So, um, there may be a time where you just are on vacation and you just don't have a choice but to eat certain things. So... I did want to talk about that because I've talked about it a little bit in passing, but I, like I said, this channel is not going to be all about, well, you should eat this way and you should not eat that way and all this stuff. You do what you want to do. We're doing what we want to do. And any knowledge that I do come across, I might share it. There's a lot of things I've learned recently that I have not shared with you guys because well, one reason is I'm not an expert and I don't know for sure because, you know, people can be biased. I know that there's one lady that I follow on Instagram and she sells a lot of different things. And I, I'm kind of like, okay, is she just saying this stuff is bad because she wants to sell her product or is it really bad? You know, um, I know her products are, are very clean and I'm not going to say who it is, but... It's just, you know, that kind of thing. I, I'm still learning. But the reason why we're okay with buying things that are not organic, even though we are trying to buy more organic things, is because I can read all those ingredients and I can cook with them in my house. And um, at Sam's, you can't get as much. Like That's one reason we thought about getting the Costco membership again. But then some of the things at Costco are still gonna be, you know, not organic, you know. It's not an organic store. <laughs> but there is something that I have learned recently that I thought I would pass along to you guys. Um, I don't know if you're very familiar with what, you know, on packaging it says natural flavorings. Um, and those things do come from natural sources um whenever you buy an organic product it'll say organic natural flavorings and then on other products it'll say natural flavorings and what that is is a flavor enhancer is something that's going to make you want to go back to that food and have that food more often this is what i'm understanding and i have gotten this from different sources so it's not just one person saying this um i have gotten it from different sources that said the same thing 
Now they could be all buddies. I don't know. But one thing I did learn is uh, um, like, I'm sorry for bumping y'all. Organic natural flavorings cannot be extracted using a chemical process. They have to be extracted in a natural way. So they're still organic because that is what is allowed. You're not allowed to put certain things in organic food. So I'm okay with organic natural flavorings. The ones that get me are the ones that are natural flavorings that are on other things because one, I'm not sure if it was extracted naturally or if it was extracted with chemicals. Because honestly, I believe with my whole entire being that a lot of our health problems is from the chemicals that's in everything that God did not plan for us to have in our bodies. He did not plan on us eating things that had chlorine in it. And our water has chlorine in it. And I've learned something else. Just in the last couple months, I thought whenever we got the reverse osmosis system that I was doing our family a favor. We bought it a couple of years ago, like two and a half years ago maybe, I don't know. We've had it for a while. Um, I thought I was doing us a favor because it was getting the chlorine and fluoride out of the water and you know, it, it's supposed to also take out like any drugs that might be in the water. Cause you know, those kind of things like that stuff's in your water. Um, any of the lead and uh, toxins. Well, I also found out that reverse osmosis also pulls out every single mineral at least the majority of them. So I did our family a favor by pulling out all the junk, but I also, I didn't realize it. I've possibly been harming us in a way by pulling out all the minerals. So I'm not gonna get rid of the reverse osmosis. We've discussed it. We're not gonna get rid of it, but we've tried to figure out ways to remineralize our water. Um, I think you can do it with baking soda, but I'm not absolutely positive on that one. But you can do it with like, sea salt like with real salt or pink himalayan salt or the celtic or celtic how do you say it i've always said celtic i don't know which way is proper way to say it but um that kind of sea salt you the mineralized salt that already has the minerals naturally in it you can bring your um minerals back you just put a tiny bit in your water you won't even notice it that's what i've been doing so i've also been using that more in my cooking too to try to bring that those minerals back into our, our our diet but that was something i learned recently that i really did want to um speak to y'all about because i have talked about my reverse osmosis because i love it i do i love that knowing that the food that i cook that has water in it is cleaner and whenever we make tea it's cleaner and also the water i drink comes straight from that um, but I didn't know I could possibly be stripping all of the minerals out. So be aware. And if you know of some sort of, I don't, I know I've seen this beautiful glass one that sits on your counter that remineralizes. It's just like a gravity water filter. If you know of something that filters your water, but remineralizes, please let me know because we do want to do something like that um, and possibly put the reverse osmosis in the bathroom or something for whenever we brush our teeth. Don't know yet. But anyway, since I have wanted to kind of um, rest my knee today, I decided that would be what I would, I would just talk to you guys about some things like that. But I, like I said, my channel's not going to be all about that kind of stuff, but we are trying to get more toxins out of our, our lives and um, just to see what happens. And I, I, like I said, I think I said it, I don't even know. I may not look 
like I'm doing better, but I actually feel better since we've started doing this. I don't know if it's a mental thing or if it's actually something that is happening physically with my body that my body is like kind of detoxifying and stuff like that with some of the stuff. And I'm hoping that it will help just, but like I said, also, we're not gonna completely cut everything out because it's just not possible. You cannot cut every toxin out because you have to go outside. And even in the country, we're knocking out a lot of toxins whenever we move out of the city, but even in the country, there's toxins. There are farmers who spray their crops. There are um, trucks that go by and spray the side of the road. There's toxins everywhere. You can't get away from them. You can't live in a bubble, but you are the master of your own home and you can choose what you do and don't bring into it. So that's what we're doing. And um, I was talking to my sister yesterday and I was talking to Jeff and Noah about it too. The people are probably gonna be a little upset with me because I don't want shoes in my house whenever we get moved. After I get that floor cleaned properly, I don't want shoes in my house. And if you do wear shoes, I want you to be wearing um, some kind of booties over them like covers that I will provide for you. <laughs> because the amount of bacteria that comes in is ridiculous and I know that we have three dogs that come in and out of the house but I'm also going to have little wipes for their little feet um that they'll get we we do that whenever there's mud on their feet anyway so they're used to us wiping their feet so there will be clean feet and I know we have animals but if I can get a little bit of the gross Plus, it's so much easier to clean a house that where people don't wear shoes and track grass and stuff in and out. <laughs> I don't care if they track it out, just don't track it in. <laughs> I don't know, but I was talking to her about that and she talked to her husband about it and they have decided that they're gonna have a no shoe rule too. They used to a long time ago whenever they had a new carpet, but they're gonna have a no shoe, no shoe rule too, but she's got a really good excuse. She has, um, a grandbaby that is not even a year old <laughs> he'll be a year in October but uh he's crawling and stuff so she's got a super great excuse he can't be on the floor <laughs> whenever there's been people walking all over it anyway I just want to talk to y'all about that I may come back and talk to y'all about something else later if I think of something um but if you have any questions about what we're doing, like if you want me to try to get more in depth, I don't think I can though. Um, then let me, I mean, we're not changing the foods we're eating necessarily. We're just changing the ingredients we're putting in them. And I know that there's like a lot of the seasoning mixes that we have that possibly have things in it that we don't want. I am going to probably go to making my own seasonings. I have done that in the past. I do that with taco seasoning sometimes and I do it with our ranch seasoning because I didn't want certain things in the ranch seasoning and I've been doing that forever. For, and I like it better. Um, but I'm thinking like with chili powder and certain things if it has something in it that I don't understand what it is or I can't, if it's a scientific name, you know? Now, I don't, I'm not saying, okay, I know that flowers and all this has, they have sour, scientific names, okay? If it says the name of the flower and then it's got the scientific name beside it, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about other things. Like, I don't know, what is something Um, I have nothing. Oh, here we go. This is lotion. Okay. This right here says Gardenia Titanus, Titanus Flower Extract. I know it's talking about Gardenia Flower Extract. You know, so that doesn't bother me. Um, this one it says Eucalyptus Globulus Leaf Extract. I know it's talking about eucalyptus leaf. 
that doesn't bother me. I'm talking about other things that I just can't read. <laughs> that I just, you know, I don't know what it means. I, I can read it, but I don't know what it is. It's something, it's a chemical. Anyways, y'all let me know what you think. Because I value your opinions and your thoughts. And I know some of you are either on the path that I, we are trying to um, stick to or you have already been on this path for a long time. Like Val, I know she's been doing it for a very long time and she has gotten a lot of the toxins out of her family's life and everybody's on board here. So I'm gonna ride. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. I won't be perfect. Don't ever believe that I will be perfect, but I'm gonna do what I can. But I will possibly be back well, I will be back, even if it's just to tell you guys bye, but I'm gonna go for right now. Okay, so, as I said, I'm not doing anything today. It's several hours later, and I have decided to start printing some kits. Wow, the cricket's so loud. I didn't realize it was that loud until I started talking to y'all. But anyway, um, I decided to start printing, cutting and, printing and cutting some kits for my planner that I got from Fran from Grand Plans. And um, the pollen is super high today and the pressure seems pretty high too. And I have a bit of a headache as well as my knee hurting. So I really do need to take kind of a rest day and I know I've done stuff today. And I know I'll be cooking supper tonight which I'm just gonna cook some burgers like the, the kind like we bought from Sam's. Which we already had some but that's what was on the menu plan is burgers so it's not like i'm going to be doing a big huge meal and standing in the kitchen for a long time we're just going to do burgers and chips because that's easy and i do have some chips i think it's siete brand i can't remember which brand it was but they're cooked in avocado oil i want to say um that i want to try that are barbecue so it's a good time to do it when I don't feel like standing in the kitchen. The kitchen's clean. There are no dirty dishes except the ones in the dishwasher because you know I wash the dishwasher and the washing machine and I, I caught up all the laundry yesterday. So that might help my head. Oh, it did. Why didn't I take that down hours ago? Why didn't I put my hair up today? Well, the reason why I put it up is because it's hot. <laughs> it's hot outside, y'all. It is so hot. Um, but anyway, where was I going with all that? I don't know. I'm just kind of resting my knee today. And it's an old injury. I've had it for years. Uh, it flares up sometimes. It has not had, I've not had a flare like this in quite a while. But I feel like the flare, oh wow, thanks for being so tangly hair. I feel like the flare is because of me scooching around on the floor so much, which Jeff, oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all probably are laughing too, but whenever I was editing the videos of me scooching around on the floor, he was laughing so hard. He just laughed so much. And I said, what is so funny? He said, you just scooting? I said, well, it's better than what you're doing walking on your knees. And actually, I was kind of afraid that it would make my back kind of feel bad doing that. But I wasn't sure if it would, you know. Why do you keep losing focus? Because I look away. The computer screen distracted me because that got finished. But I thought that it might make my bother my back. It hasn't. It's just bothered my knee. And I'm not even sure if that's what bothered my knee. Um... Look how pretty this is. It's called peach season. But I'm not even sure if that's what bothered my knee or if it was something else I did. But it's an old injury. I mean, you can't do anything about old injuries if there's no fix for it. And I have arthritis in my knees and I know that. But I never know what's gonna trigger the flare the inflammation or whatever. I could be just walking 
and it hurt for days or I could be actually doing some kind of work and it hurt for days or I could sleep funny and it hurt for days I don't talk about it because it does not happen very often anymore um, in fact I was very surprised it happened this time but it's worth it to get the mobile home finished it's not like I'm gonna make it worse the doctor said it's just because of the arthritis and the inflammation it just causes it to happen and there's nothing they can do which is weird to me there's so much they can do about everything else <laughs> I don't know anyway um, so I'm not really gonna be doing anything else other than sitting here at my desk editing videos oh that one I can upload now um, I've been trying to catch up on some of my uh, favorite YouTube creators <laughs> I just noticed that someone else just posted a video 39 minutes ago big dreams tiny budget and Marie just posted one so I need to go watch that I was watching Misty from happy planning with Misty I watched Fallon this morning um, I'm trying to catch up, like with Tony from Chaotic Country and <laughs> with Jesse J, Mama Jesse J, and Kimmy just did one 39 minutes ago. Um, just so many <laughs> that I'm trying to catch up with, but I can't seem to catch up because I'm so far behind. Um, Tiffany from Our Small Town Life, and oh goodness, Samantha just everybody I'm just behind and I'm sorry and there's a lot of you that I, I'm not even commenting I'm just watching and Monica from Monica's secret room I'm just watching I'm sorry if I don't if I don't comment I'm just watching <laughs> but I'm here I'm trying um because I'm not gonna be doing anything else a lot of times I'll have it on on my big TV but since I'm sitting here at my computer I'm just not worried about that right now I'm just gonna do it right here and you know watch on my computer <sighs> Mr. Tom put up another video too I think he went grocery shopping I think it was yesterday he did it and I haven't gotten to see it yet um so yeah <sighs> that's what's happening with me today I'm sitting here printing stickers, cutting stickers, editing videos, and watching my friends. <laughs> so, um, I will be back tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how my knee's gonna be. I know that I'm making chili, but I'm making it in a crock pot, but I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. From the very first time I ever made chili, I used the chili beans that already have the sauce in them. I'm going to attempt to make chili without the, that kind of bean. So I might record that. Now, I don't have a recipe. I have thought about looking up a recipe for chili sauce. I don't know if I should or not. Now my battery's about to die. I'll be right back because I do want to talk to y'all about that. It'll be too late by the time you see this, but maybe you can give me some ideas later for later use, you know? I'll be right back. Okay, so um, anyway, maybe you guys can give me some tips for, or like if you make, why are y'all crooked? Because I put you back on the tripod crooked. That's why. Anyway. If you have like some kind of idea of like, what was I saying? If you make chili without any type of chili bean, like if you make it from, I mean, I'm gonna use canned beans, the organic canned beans. I'm gonna use those, but they're not chili beans because I've been trying to find chili beans, but I haven't found them yet. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how it works out. And I'm pretty sure that we'll like it anyway. And yes, I cook chili and soup and stew all year long. We don't we don't go by seasons here because 
it's just hot all year long <laughs> most of the time and those types of meals are favorites for Jeff and Noah so that's what I do and they're easy for me so that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm doing that uh, for tomorrow that's so that's what's on the menu but I, I might go ahead and record that just so y'all can help me out and say hey you need to do this this next time or maybe you should try this but I might let's let's look up let me y'all come along with me <laughs> you can't actually see what I'm doing oh I just hit a key and I got y'all crooked but you know that's okay um let's see if I can look up a chili sauce recipe yeah homemade chili sauce uh, I don't know if it's like the chili sauce as in tomato sauce, brown sugar, vinegar, allspice, or chili powder. Well, I always put chili powder in it anyway. That one, I don't really know if I would love that. Homemade chili sauce. That one looks good. Forgot to buy chili sauce at the store, no problem. Because great chili sauce is quick and easy to make at home. Thanks for letting me know. That is for shrimp. That's that's for shrimp. That's not the same kind. Chili sauce for chili. Okay. Let me get this out of here. Easy chili recipe. Okay, that just flew. <laughs> not really. Anyway, um, I don't know. Do you guys make your own chili sauce? Have any of you ever done it? Um, is it something you've considered? Something you have thought about maybe doing? And, um, maybe you have a recipe. What's the substitute for chili sauce? Not that. Easy chili recipe. Let's see what we got here. Bell pepper tomato. Okay. I kind of thought that. Oh, I don't want to do it in a Dutch oven. I want to do it in a slow cooker because it's just, oh, a crock pot method. Method: Cook and season the gr beef, ground beef, onions, peppers, garlic, and deglaze with chicken broth as outlined in steps one through four in the recipe card below this post. Well, I already have um, the ground beef already cooked. So I could just saute the other things. You'll want to drain the kidney beans, but rinsing them is optional. Well, I'm going to use a mixed bean and kidney beans. Black beans, pinto beans, stuff like that. Um, that looks good. That, that chili looks good. This recipe might be what I try. Let's see, olive oil, onion. I don't have yellow onion, but I've got onion, so I'm just gonna use what I've got. Uh, ground beef, salt and pepper, garlic, bell pepper, jalapeno pepper. I don't have jalapeno. Yes, I do, it's in the freezer. Tomato paste, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, chicken broth, beef bouillon, Crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, kidney beans. That's not many beans compared to what my family likes. And then the seasoning is chili powder. Now, I would cut back on the cumin or cumin. How do you say it? I don't know which way. Is it Q like you would U or coo as in coo like a baby coos? I would say cumin because it's a U. I would cut back on that though because our family... They, we like it, but we don't, it overpowers for us. So I would probably cut it back to a fourth of what it says. Uh, oregano, salt, mustard powder. Okay, I've got all this. Except the lime wedges. <laughs> That's just a garnish. I am going to print this. And... I'm going to uh, I'm going to 
try. I, I'm gonna see if Jeff and Noah want me to do it. That's what I'm gonna do. And if they want me to do it, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Oh, I can't print it yet. I gotta go get this sticker paper out. I don't wanna print it on sticker paper. It's called Easy Chili Recipe from thecozycook.com. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's printing and that's cutting and I just put some paper in there. It sounds like it'd be good. And some of these things are optional. Um, it's just the jalapeno pepper I'm not sure about. I think we have some in the freezer, but if we don't, I do have some jarred jalapenos and I could just use that. Sorry that thing's so loud. I mean, I don't know. It might not be good, but it might. It might be delicious. So we're gonna, I'm gonna see what the boys say. So if you see that in tomorrow's video, you'll know why. You'll know that they were on board. Uh, why is Heinz chili sauce called chili? Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna look at that. Um, but yeah, that's how I find recipes. That or I look through my recipe books. I just go online and look for what I want. And if I can't find what I want, I make it up. <laughs> Which is what I was gonna do. Um, I know that my mama's way of making chili, it's the way I did it year for years. And then I started adding tomatoes and things to it. It's not what she would do now. And I know that I can't make anything close to hers without chili beans. Or I don't think I can. Wow, there's lots of noises going on now. <laughs> but I think that um, it's something that I want to venture in trying to do without the sauce in the beans already. I just want to try it. And if I don't like it, I can always buy the beans that have sauce in them. Um, but yeah. That's what's happening. That's what I'm doing. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. <laughs> it's just because I am. How do you make your chili? Do you have some sort of special way that you do it? I mean, we don't have, I mean, we, we've changed, it's, it's changed over the years. It's, it's changed through trial and error and Actually, at one point, Jeff wanted me to put onions in it, and I was like, okay, and so I tried it. And I, I don't know if I just put too much onion or if I just hated it, and yes, I am uploading this video so it can be going, um, because I need it to be up for you guys that watch my planner channel. But I don't know, I just feel like sometimes the recipes I have done over and over again throughout the years, they don't work for us anymore. They're just not what we want anymore. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Which if my paper, which I did get new paper and I'm almost out of this got just whatever's in the printer right now and I have three more sheets of this kit to do but once that's gone I don't have to deal with that kind anymore and y'all there's seven sheets to this kit from Grand Plans seven sheets of this kit and if you don't have enough stickers you will never have enough because that's one sheet another sheet these colors are beautiful and I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm just saying you've got and there's three more sheets to go and I'm printing them all because I don't know I might use them multiple weeks sometimes I do y'all know that if you've watched my planner channel or if you watched whenever I used to do it on here I've used multiple um for multiple weeks even a whole month at a time but anyway i probably just need to go because i'm just running my mouth and that's what i've been doing 
the whole time today <laughs> um since i started talking to y'all don't worry about my knee this has happened for years i've been dealing with this for about 18 years now maybe longer it's just something that i have to live with i guess because nobody can tell me how to fix it and i don't know what to do and they never did give me a definite diagnosis they said tendonitis or tendinosis um and that was what the mri doctor said possibly could get another mri done but usually by the time that i get to go to the doctor the pain is gone so i really don't know you know it, it it's it's not like an ongoing thing so it's it's weird i can put some heat on it and i'll be fine but anyways i will see you guys again tomorrow thank you so much for hanging out with me today i do appreciate it and if you don't mind leave me a comment down below let me know how you're doing if you have a prayer request you can leave that down there as well and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet